Dear Megan, I am writing to you as we prepare the final details for our wedding. It is this time sitting by the computer that I am able to slow down and take in all that is going around us. It allows me to think beyond just the life decisions and changes themselves, but to a deeper sense, to what end those decisions and changes mean to us. Seemingly, I am not able to shake the words of strength and bond from my thoughts. To my love, from the moment I fell in love with you, I've been hoping this day would come. I'm so excited to finally wear this dress and walk down the aisle to meet you at the altar. This day will be filled with laughter and joy as we celebrate our two lives becoming one in Christ, and I can't imagine anyone more perfect to spend it with. I fall in love with you more and more every day as I witness your undying love for me. We turn our attention now to the words of the Apostle Paul from the great love chapter of the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Christ at the center, with Christ at the heart of your marriage, you will love. You will love God and you will love each other because after all, he loved you first. Amen. I, Matthew. I, Matthew. In the presence of God and these witnesses. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Megan. Take you, Megan. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I, Megan. I, Megan. In the presence of God and these witnesses. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Matthew. Take you, Matthew. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Mackey. Our journey has created an endless bond and an enduring and constantly growing strength in our relationship. When I wake up, I think about you. When I go to sleep, I think about you and all in between. Thinking of you creates a full feeling in my heart, one that I have never had before you. No matter what challenges come up in our life, our love will always hold us together. I know this because I see this in your relationship with the ones who loved you first, your family. Your undying love and dedication to them is the same thing I see in your love for me. You always have my best interests at the front of your mind and I know you would do anything just to see me smile. Gift is the word that always seems to come in mind when I think of you. It's your endless love, passion, and devotion that fill my heart ever so much. It's your love towards others and me that draws me closer. It's your passion in everything you do that shows a sign of strength and determination. It is your devotion to the Lord, your family, and I that is irreplaceable. I cannot wait for us to be our own little family. I think back to all the fun times we already had in college and with both of our families. As we create our own new family of two, I cannot wait for the new and special things we get to do together. I cannot wait to travel the country and hopefully to see even a few more together. I hope we always keep our sense of adventure and trying new things.
ready to marry you, I promise to look back on this day often to reflect on our love and the support from those around us. I pray our love for each other grows deeper and deeper each day as our lives become one. See you soon. Megan. Megan, it is you who is meant to be my lifelong partner. You have completed me as a person and who continues to stretch me and grow me in new ways every day. It is you as my wife, Megan Nicole Mackey. Love, Matthew.